We're at Battersea Park Children's Zoo to hear about its otter conservation work and how it's celebrating World Otter Day on the 26th of May. So for Asian short gold otters in particular, at the moment in the wild, they're kind of going through a very similar fate to our own Eurasian otter many years ago, where they are suffering at the hands of pollution, uh, and in particular for the species that live here, uh, the exotic pet trade, the wildlife trade. The otters here have been brought together from other zoos based on their genetics, uh, and they've luckily we've had four cubs this year. And the idea is that we have an insurance population in captivity that are genetically diverse, that have the best genetics uh, and are managed properly. To protect otters you are protecting really an entire ecosystem and a, and, a, and a whole habitat for different species at the same time. So on World Otter Day we are going to have uh, keepers by their enclosure chatting to people throughout the day uh, and talking to people about what we can do at home uh, to help otters, whether that be living more sustainably, uh, reducing our plastic waste, uh, and also supporting otters out in the wild. Because of social distancing, we're unable to do like our usual big event day that we have here, where we have uh, charities come and we raise a bit more money for them. Uh, so we have Robin, who is the mum. So she's just over two years old. Uh, and then her partner, her male partner is called Little John. Uh, and he is coming up for seven. And then obviously we have their four cubs as well. So our quadruplets were born on the 16th of December, 2020. So they're about 19 weeks old now. Uh, and then because they were born during the pandemic, they've got quite fitting pandemic names. So we have uh, Rishi, Witty, Tia and Bubble. 